Hey, yo, hold on. Arch, I'm rooting, y'all. He look like he in shape right now for this Shakur Stevenson fight we got to talk about. Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew, where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Tonight, Shakur Stevenson, he's going to try to right his wrongs. By wrong, I mean his last performance. His last performance garnered a lot, and I do mean a lot, of criticism. People thought Shakur Stevenson all in all underperformed versus Edwin De Los Santos. So now tonight we're going to see what he's talking about. But in true ego Weight Watchers fashion, AKA ew, often imitated, never duplicated. You asked for it, you got it. In my last video about Shakur Stevenson and Artem Harutnyan, I talked about some different things. I talked about Shakur Stevenson kind of going against the machine, pretty dangerous move, but I understand Shakur Stevenson is a very talented guy so we'll see how the fight plays out tonight but i did ask you guys in the comment section if you wanted me to make the video enough of you guys sent comments saying you did so here we are what i noticed is that artem harutnyan is in shape he looks really ready for this moment even at the weigh-in there was a moment where you know he was flexing shakur was like that don't mean nothing i don't care about that that ish don't mean nothing yada 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 and towards the very end, if you look, Shakur Stevenson kind of like pinched. It was kind of weird, but he pinched Artem Harutnyan's stomach. Like, I think when fighters do that, they trying to size you up. And physically, the pictures I've seen and the videos I've seen, Artem Harutnyan, he actually looks really ready and in shape. So I think Shakur was trying to check his temperature to see if he was like really in the shape that he looked like. I mean, if you guys have another explanation of why Shakur pinched him at the weigh-in, I'm definitely willing to be enlightened. But Artem, I think this is a good fight. It's a dangerous fight. I stated it in the last video because Shakur Stevenson is truly going against the machine. He's talking bad about Top Rank and Bob Arum. He's a free agent after this particular fight. So there's a lot at stake. Plus, he enters this fight with he's the last guy out of the four horsemen that is truly undefeated like i you could say devin haney's undefeated but people seen the ryan garcia fight i understand it was overturned but i think that's gonna haunt devin haney that's just my honest opinion shakur has never had an out he's had like of course lackluster performances but he's never had that where he was getting spilled all over the campus canvas like um Devin Haney per se so Shakur out of that four horsemen T.O. lost Devin lost and then it was overturned which you know people still seen the flaw in the approach and things like that Ryan Garcia's lost to Gervonta Davis and pretty much everyone in that graphic has lost except for Shakur Stevenson so he's been calling out Tank Davis he's about to enter free agency he's going against the machine for all these reasons I think this is going to be a good fight then you look on the other side, you had Artem Harutnyan, who was training in the top ranked gym, or at least a period of his camp, and he looks supremely confident and dialed in. And he's an Olympian just like Shakur Stevenson. The other thing that I do like is Artem Harutnyan, he can actually fight. A lot of people, when they haven't heard of the person, they're not familiar with the brand, I feel like they just relegate that person to, oh, he sucks. He's fighting a cab driver. He's fighting a bum. If you actually watch the Frank Martin fight, and I'm not saying Shakur Stevenson is Frank Martin because they don't fight alike, but I think Frank Martin, he was tentative for a reason. And Artem Harutnyan came out hot and came out guns blazing and was winning early rounds with Frank Martin, who I believe at lightweight is more dangerous a puncher. I don't even think you can dispute that. I think Frank Martin overall you could say Shakur is better ring IQ or smarter or something like that but I don't know that anyone is going to dispute when we're looking at Southpaw versus Southpaw at 135 Frank Martin he cracking harder than Shakur Stevenson if you somehow want to dispute that please explain because that don't make no sense to me keep in mind Frank Martin he when he fought he almost got Artem Harutnyan out of there. Shakur, I don't know if he has the power and the style to 
put it all together and be a finisher. And another reason, and I've said this before, Shakur talks a lot. He's a talker. So he's, oh, I'm on Twitter. I'm on X. I feel good. I feel great. Y'all don't know boxing. Y'all some casuals. Tank Davis is a casual. Y'all know what y'all looking at. I want to fight in the UK because the UK fans are so much different than boxing fans in America. They actually support the fight. All these things. And Shakur has kind of become public enemy number one. And I disagree with him. I think he's a good fighter. But I think this generation, this new generation, they just talk. Like Artem Harutnyan, I don't know what his actual age is as of me recording this video, but he ain't really said much, right? He speaks some English too, but he ain't really said much. He just looks like he's in shape and he said a couple things at best. Shakur Stevenson, every time there's criticism, he runs to like social media. Y'all just don't know. I've been blackballed. Top rank stifled my career. Y'all don't appreciate real boxing. When Floyd did this and Muhammad Ali had bad performances, nobody in this new generation is really trying to hear that. You're not Floyd. You're not Muhammad Ali. You're not any Roberto Duran or whoever else these historical examples that you're coming up with. So it's, I, I hate when people are being tried by the public and then they start name dropping a bunch of people. They just start name dropping. Oh, but this person, this person, why didn't y'all say this person? I mean, Ryan Garcia is doing it. You said what you said, stand on what you said. You said you weren't gonna apologize. Now you copping please and apologizing. And you talking about, oh, everybody says the N word. Nobody's trying to hear that, bro. Nobody's trying to hear that at all. So that's just my advice for this new generation is when you're questioned and when there's criticism about you, just keep it on you. It shows that you almost can't handle the pressure or deal with the criticism or you're not used to criticism or you don't like criticism when you have to kind of bring up everybody else instead of addressing your stuff. And the bottom line is Shakur can call me or you casual fans your last fight wasn't good bro there was no replay there was no replay value and that's coming from me i have no problem with pure boxing styles and somebody i don't call people generally call people runners and marathon runners y'all know my channel i ain't really been on that you know unless it i guess is warranted some fights are just good and some fights are not i remember robert easter i like robert easter but he fought rancis bartholomew that was a bad watch you know and the game has gotten soft. The game is super soft now, where if you say any criticism, they say you're a hater or you hate this fighter or whatever. And I've been on YouTube for years and I don't have nothing against any of these fighters. There's nothing about hate. I'm just giving you my opinion. It's like you can have a favorite actor, Denzel, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio. They've all done bad movies, right? Name a Denzel movie, Brad Pitt movie, Leonardo DiCaprio movie that you just weren't feeling. And when you have enough fights, maybe you have a night like that where people just aren't feeling the fight. So Shakur has a lot of pressure on himself. Artem Harutnyan has nothing to lose, in my opinion, and everything to gain. And then Shakur trying to get the tank fight, trying to prove people wrong, trying to fight probably a style that's not really him to be more exciting. It's gonna be interesting because for the first time in Artem Harutnyan, you're really fighting a guy with some footwork that has some good size. And we really don't know everything about Shakur Stevenson at lightweight. Name somebody that he fought at lightweight and impressed you. The best opponent he fought, it wasn't impressive. And that was Edwin De Los Santos, right? What the Yoshino, that don't really tell me nothing. You know what I mean? Cause I never rate, you ain't never heard me even talk about Yoshino. I barely even know who the f he is. You see what I'm saying? So. Shakur, I'll give him all the props in the world if he's successful, but I personally think for the reasons listed, Artem being in shape, you going against the machine, you at home, I think there's going to be a lot of pressure. Again, if he gets this stoppage, like he's kind of alluding to, I'll give him credit, but that's not really his style and he's going to have to make his style. And sometimes what I've seen in boxing is when you try to force it, like if you try to force a knockout, that's when you don't have a good performance or when you try to fight uncharacteristic of your own ability that's where you get your wires crossed let me know what you guys think
Ugh.